Okay, this is journal number three. Today's date is June 20th, 2015. And I just completed my week 12, I believe. I actually switched clinic sites, so now I'm at Fostoria Hospital. So this was actually my first month there and so far things have been going very well and right away I noticed a ton of differences between a smaller place and a, a bigger one so I'm gonna go over a couple of those things um, the obvious difference between Fostoria and Toledo was the size where I'm at now is a lot smaller than where I was. And that's significant because for, for a number of things. Um, first is obviously the patient load. If it's a smaller place, they're not going to have the same number of patients. So they're not going to have the same number of staff. They're, the facility's capabilities are also going to be different. They might have a patient in who they can't give a specific procedure so they'll transfer that patient somewhere else and obviously the types of procedures they do will change and I noticed right away they do a lot of endoscopy so you know a lot of uh, knee scopes and uh, a lot of colonoscopies and things of that nature which I never did at Toledo so first day I'm kind of nervous, like, oh, I'm not going to, I might have some issues doing some of these cases because I've never done them before. And walking in, I didn't expect that. I expected, uh, I won't, I'll say I was a little, uh, maybe a little, little arrogant, like, oh, I was at a big place, so this place should be no problem. And right away I got there and realized that it's, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Not that that's a bad thing. In fact, I kind of like the change in pace a little bit. Uh, one thing for certain is it's not as tense there as it is at a place like Toledo. Level 1, it's, it's very tense. Everything is very strict and very tight, and everything has to be this way, this way, this way, and this way. And there, it's kind of a little bit more laid back. I like that because it allows I, I don't, I'm not as nervous whenever I you know am setting things up or doing things I'm nervous right now because I'm new and I don't know how things are done but it's it's not the same type of tension that you would get at a bigger place um, with that with that said I like I said there are a lot of things that I've had to do that I've never done before or at least not in a real live uh, case. Because it's a smaller place, the roles are going to be different. Uh, the difference between a bigger place and a smaller place is, number one, space. <laughs> if you're, Your space might be a little bit different than they were. And, and ironically, a bigger place might not necessarily mean you're going to have more space. You might, I would remember being in smaller rooms working. And I might be in a small, tiny room working with, in a room with like eight or nine people, maybe ten. The surgeon might come in with an assistant and two or three residents. So right away, your space, you're going to be working in kind of cramped spaces. So you feel a little bit out of place, especially if you're just observing. Then you're just like, man, I am really cramped. There's nowhere to stand there's nowhere to sit, there's no, where, why am I, I'm all in the way. Here it's not like that. Which is, like I said, it's kind of ironic because I'm actually at a smaller facility, but when I think about it like that, it makes, it kind of makes a little bit more sense. There's a little bit more space to, room, uh, to move around. Also, because the patient load is a little differently, it works a little bit differently, your turnover time is a, a little bit different as well. I've noticed when I was at Toledo, they had a specific average turnover time. It was supposed to be like 23 minutes to turn over. And most of the time, whenever you were assigned to a room, you were in that room all day. 
sometimes with the same surgeon, sometimes they would have different surgeons come in. But on average, I was getting three to four cases a day. Sometimes the most I would do was seven or eight cases. So if I was with the same surgeon, he might come in at seven o'clock and we're rolling until six in the evening. So for almost 12 hours, for 11 hours, he's cranking out cases. So the turnover time, and that might be after he's taken on two or three add-ons. So it's it's a little bit different at a smaller place. You're not going to see the same number of patients, and they're only going to have a, a different, they're going to have a smaller number of surgeons. You're going to see the same surgeons working there consistently. You might have your surgeons who will come in maybe once or twice a month, but the regular surgeons who come in, they, they'll come specifically like on Mondays and Thursdays or Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. They'll set cases. So you'll be seeing the same surgeons over and over and over, which is nice. It's a, it's a nice change of pace. To be honest, I'm actually kind of enjoying it because I'm getting to see the same page, the same cases pretty much every day. They're always going to have some sort of scope going on. Every week I'm going to be seeing the same cases. So it, it, I am liking that because I can grasp the that concept. And because it's the same surgeon, I'm getting used to them as well. One thing I like, <laughs> and this is, it might be kind of weird, but they only use one type of glove. And you might say, oh, well, that's that's kind of random, but at a bigger place, they have three different types, three or four different types of gloves, and then every surgeon has their own size, and then you have to worry about the three or four residents who come in with them. So here, I don't have to worry about that. There aren't any residents. They only have one type of glove, which is a latex-free, and because I'm working with the same surgeons every day, I can memorize their sizes. So, automatic stress relief right there. So if you're working at a small place, count your blessings on that, because you don't have to worry about, you know, things like that. That's an, That might be a concern there, but here it's it's not a concern. I don't have to worry about that. But that doesn't mean there are, aren't different uh, aspects of the role that change. One thing that I another thing I've noticed is uh, your role really does kind of change a little bit. You're expected to do more. As a student, that's not necessarily a bad thing because you're getting you're getting more experience doing more things. When I was at Toledo, I think because it was quick, everything was a lot fast and specific. They didn't have time to take extra time to teach me things that they considered not important. Even things that I went over in school that I was expected to know, I was I didn't I never had to do at Toledo. Uh, one thing uh, for certain is uh, draping. I was trained I was trained how to drape. We we went over draping every day in lab. Uh, we had to drape ourselves. Uh, actually, eventually we started draping the patient by ourselves, just us. But when I was at Toledo, I never draped. Not ever. Here, I'm finding like draping the patient. I might just, I might have a little bit of help, but I'm actually going in there and draping the patient. So it's a bit awkward at first because I'm like, oh man, this is month three for me and I'm still not comfortable draping the patient. I've been over this a hundred times in class, but it, it feels different when it's a live patient. Even the same thing with gowning and gloving, and you might laugh at this, but I actually never opened up a gown and gowned a surgeon before of course yeah we did it in class but at Toledo we didn't have enough space to uh, we didn't have enough space or enough time to do that so they would come in so the surgeon would come in wet and then his his two residents or whatever would come in same way and they just line up and then you would just hand them each their gown and then you'd get their gloves ready and then you'd you'd gown them but never have I ever actually opened up a gown and helped them. And that, that's something small, but it's something that I never actually got to do before. 